Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at the laws of indices. When you have things to the power, when you're adding them, when you're dividing them. There are three different levels of questions in here, so you can try some of the easy ones and then move on to the hard ones if you find them too easy, you can move backwards. For times, go and check out the pinned comment where I put all the different times in there for you. For more questions like this to really, really help you practice and revise, then over on my website there are workbooks for you to download and loads of multiple choice questions for you to try. So the first set of questions we are going to be looking at in this video. Remember, if you find these too easy, you can skip ahead to the next set and you can always come back and do these again if you're struggling later on in the video. The first thing we need to look at is what does eight to the four actually mean? It's just a shorter way of writing things. Writing out eight plus eight plus eight plus eight is quite long and time consuming. Eight times four, but they both mean the same thing. For both of them, we will get the same answer. Eight to the four is a bit like writing eight times eight times eight. Either way we write it down, we're going to get the same answer. Eight to the four is just a shorter, quicker way of writing eight times eight times eight times eight. So if we want to write eight to the four, as in our first question, we can do eight times eight times eight times eight. Then moving along, we are going to times that by 8 to the 2. And 8 to the 2 is just 8 times 8. So now we have 4 green 8s and 2 purple 8s all multiplied together, which is going to give us 8 to the 6. And no matter which way you put it into your calculator, it will still give us the same value. But when we're writing it down, 8 to the power of 6 is just a much easier and quicker and shorter way for us to write it. You can see here the difference between the index form and the value. The index form is much shorter, much clearer, whereas the value is longer and much more likely to get confused. Moving on to the next question. Here we have 5 to the 8, which means 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, 8 times. And we're going to multiply that by 5 to the power of 2. So 5 times by 5, 2 5s. Then we're going to multiply those together. Now there's no difference here between those green 5s and those dark purple 5s. So we can just count all of the 5s up and that is 5 to the power of 10. Now you may have noticed something. In our first example, 8 to the 4 times 8 to the 2, the answer is 8 to the 6, which is just 4 plus 2. This follows in our second example, 5 to the 8 times 5 to the 2, made 5 to the 10. We have 8 plus 2 gives us 10. So any numbers that we see to the power, in the answer we need to have them added together. And that's the rule that we're going to be using for the rest of the examples in this video. So for the next one, we have 2 to the 2 times 2 to the 9. Now 2 plus 9 gives us 11. If you want to check, feel free to write out all of those 2s and count them up. The next example is ever so slightly trickier because it involves a negative number. We have 6 to the 8 times 6 to the minus 1. Now, when we are adding positive numbers, we're going to get a positive number. And a, a positive number and a negative number gives us a negative number. Or a negative number and a negative number gives us a positive number. So in this example, we have 8 minus 1. So 8 plus minus 1 overall is going to give us 7. So the answer to this question is 6 to the power of 7. In our next example, we have 4 to the minus 5 times 4 to the minus 7. So we have minus 5 plus minus 7 
tidying it up a bit gives us minus 5 minus 7. And then doing that sum shows us that we get minus 12. So our answer overall is 4 to the power of minus 12. Here are our next set of questions. These ones are slightly different because these involve dividing things. So here we have 9 to the power of 7. So we're going to draw out 7 nines. And then we're going to put them on top of 9 to the 4. Are we going to put them on top of 4 nines? So we have 7 nines divided by 4 nines. We can then start to cancel things out. Anything that we've got on top and on the bottom, we can get rid of. So we've got rid of one set of nines. We've got rid of another set of nines. A third set of nines and a fourth set of nines. So we've taken four nines from the top and four nines from the bottom. What we are left with is 9 to the power of 3. 3 nines. If we look at our numbers, we can see 9 to the 7 and 9 to the 4 somehow made 3. If we think about it, we can see that 7 minus 4 equals 3. Now we can look at our first rule and we can use that and what we've worked out to draw a second rule. That if we have two indices that are divided by each other, the answer, the indices are going to be minus each other. So for our next one, we have 8 to the 2 divided by 8 to the 5. So using our rules, we can say that it's 2 minus 5. 2 minus 5 is going to give us minus 3. So we can say the answer to this question is 8 to the power of minus 3. Next one, we have 6 to the 4 minus 6 to, or divided by 6 to 3, which will give us 4 minus 3, which gives us 1. It gives us 6 to the power of 1, which we can simply say is 6. If we look back at our little set of rules for um, adding and subtracting things again, because the next one, we have 74 divided by 7 to minus 11. So our sum is going to be 4 minus minus 11. Which, if we look at our little table, we can see is actually going to be 4 plus 11. 4 plus 11 will give us 15. So the answer to the problem here is 7 to the power of 15. Last one for this level, we have 2 to the minus 8 divided by 2 to the minus 11. Looking at our rules, that will give us minus 8 minus minus 11. Tidying up gives us minus 8 plus 11. Minus 8 plus 11 gives us an overall answer of 3. Meaning the answer to this question is 2 to the power of 3. Some slightly harder ones now because we've involved brackets. So we have our 4 to the power of 3. All of that is the power of 5. Which means we're going to have 5 sets of brackets with 4 times 4 times 4 in them. Now, if we count up all of those 4s, we are going to find that there are 15 4s, which gives us an overall answer of 4 to the power of 15. We want to use this to try and make our lives a bit easier so we don't have to write out all of those 2s for the next question. And we can see that 3 times 5 will give us 15. So from this, we can write another rule. That if we have brackets, we need to multiply the numbers by each other. So 
next question. We have 7 to the power of 2 all, 2 to the power of 7, sorry, all to the power of 7. So that's 7 times 7 will give us 49. So our answer will be 2 to the power of 49. Next one, 8 to the power, 11 to the power of 8 all to the power of 9. So what we need to do is take 8, multiply it by 9, giving us an answer of 72, which means our overall answer is going to be 11 to the power of 72. 5 multiplied by minus 3 is going to give us minus 15. So our overall answer for this question is 3 to the power of minus 15. For the last one, we have minus 8 multiplied by minus 3. Now because we have a minus multiplied by a minus, that is going to give us a positive value plus 24. So our overall answer is going to be 4 to the power of 24.